Hey guys, this is Tech Freak 567 and then today I want to show you guys how to get uh, a good Game Boy Advance emulator on your Android device or on your Galaxy S3. It doesn't really matter. So let's open it up. It's called My Boy. This is actually the best one that I've used because Game Boy does not work. It takes so many add-ons and GBA bios and it's just pointless. All you're gonna need is like two things for this, so let's just show you a quick demonstration. I'll be playing Pokemon Emerald real quick. Just press continue. It is very responsive. I really like this uh, emulator. It's very smooth. No, no lag. As you can see, I can move directions like really fast. Click start and all that. So let's get started. What you're gonna want to do is first go into settings go down to security and make sure that under device administrators shows unknown sources now uh... you gotta make sure that it's checked so that you can download it like download the ROMs so first what you wanna do is go to play store I had bought my boy before it came out with the free version it's called my boy As you can see, my boy free Game Boy emulator. As you can see, here it is. The, it doesn't show the paid one anymore because I guess it's like a full, perfectly fine, um, like, it's good free. Let's just say that, like, no one was really buying it. So, I don't know why I bought it. I bought it anyway. So, you're going to want to download it. It's free. Then, after it is downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go to your browser. Go to just type it in coolrom.com. I don't know if you can see that coolrom.com. I'll put an annotation if you cannot see it. So what you're gonna do is just click go, and it should redirect you to the mobile site. Okay. Then you're gonna click rom files and look down for I mean scroll down for Game Boy Advance. Then it'll show up with top games that are top downloaded all these games it'll you can go to uh, browse by letter to like get like Mario and stuff but I believe it has every Game Boy Advance ROM in here but there at the top there's Emerald, Fire Red and Ruby and then Yu-Gi-Oh and then you can scroll down and there's like a bunch of other games that you can get, like Naruto. I'm just going to show you how to get it. Let's just get Naruto, because I've never played it, and I should. So we're going to try either this or Dragon Ball Z, so let me just take a look at them. Seems interesting, and as, as you can see, the file size are very small, so this does not really take any space on your device if you were to play this. Like, for example, if you were to like wanted to play this on a plane for a very long plane ride you can probably most likely it'll last and give you just enough later when you land to call whoever you need to so let's just scroll down and see, see download now just click it and it should say start downloading and up here it'll show downloading right, uh, ongoing and it should say well mine's says my my boy's running because I opened it up but if you were to clear it from here it doesn't show up so basically kills it but it doesn't really damage anything okay just wait for that to download and while that is downloading I just want to show you guys a cool font that I got it's called swarm it's from tech fonts and the play store it's actually really cool I love it, it comes up with like a ton and I just use Swarm, and right now it's at 47%. Let's go check out settings to show you guys display. Now, if you guys don't know how to, oh, sorry, if you guys don't know how to change your your uh, fonts. Just go to settings display, scroll down to font style, and then you, the the ones that are built in our um, default 
chalky cookie and rosemary no actually I want to check out all spark I guess and when you click it it it'll change it so see I changed mine to all sparks and it actually does not really kill your battery at all when you use it and I believe Naruto is complete so when is that when it is complete just like put away the notification open my boy now this is what I like about my boy compared to Game Boy this you can refresh it and you don't need to put any GBA BIOS file it's all basically my boy ROM play now you can also put in cheats I forgot to show you Let's just open up Naruto see how it is so as you can see it's running fine nothing really wrong with it I'll go ahead and play that later so now you can if you click like that action key or menu key it's close game I want to show you guys the cheats on here too you can also put in cheats so let's click that menu as you can see it says cheats it'll open up cheats now I have the master ball cheat and rare candies cheat so basically you can turn it on and turn it off by just clicking it and to add it it uses the game shark codes whatever you want to click add you put the cheat name like the cheat type you can set it or just put it at auto and then cheat code you basically just put it in from the internet just copy and paste um, into the into here so just like google it on your browser so yeah guys that is how you get a GBA ROM for your Android device this is the best emulator on Android that I have used it's easiest to use smoothest and I believe on tablet there is another settings setting in here at the top or something that allows you to speed it up so like it's much faster to run and stuff so yeah guys uh, if you have any questions about this ROM or if it's not working uh, ask a question to comment and like if this was helpful to you uh, this is Tech Creek 567, and this was a video on how to get a good GBA emulator on your Android device.